Lee H. Oswald, the 24-year-old man whom Dallas police say is a prime suspect in the assassination of President Kennedy, was questioned for six hours at the Dallas police station this evening. He was arrested shortly after the assassination and has been under questioning ever since. But as he was led from the interrogation room upstairs in the Dallas police station, perhaps reporters say for booking, he said to reporters, I don't know anything about this. I haven't done anything. Apparently, he is still denying any knowledge. This coming Wednesday will mark 60 years since the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. As CBS's Walter Cronkite tried to keep the nation informed, he relied on other journalists on the ground. Now, a key artifact that captured that part of history is going on display in Dallas. Omar Villafranca has the story. Just a moment. Here is Oswald at the police station. 12 hours after President John F. Kennedy had been assassinated in Dallas, reporters from all over the world were crammed into police headquarters trying to interview the suspect, Lee Harvey Oswald. And, uh, I, I got jostled, I'm small, so I got pushed behind the door one time. I'm pummeled. This is a situation now. Bill Mercer was a reporter with CBS station KRLD. He just got a tip from a cop that Oswald had formally been charged with murdering the president, something that Oswald didn't even know until Mercer broke the news to him on camera. You have been Nobody charged. said what? Sir? You have been Nobody charged. said what? Okay. You have been charged with the murder of the president. Wow. <laughs> and he looked at me, what? And I said, you have been charged with the murder of the president. So that was my greatest interview in, <laughs> in television. Almost 60 years later, camera number three from that interview is on display in its new home at Dallas's sixth floor museum, which chronicles the JFK assassination. Oh my gosh, there it is. And earlier this year, 97 year old Mercer was reunited with that piece of history. This is particularly special because we have the footage, we have the artifact and we have the man who was um, reporting that news. Nicola Longford is the CEO of the sixth floor museum and says decades later, physical artifacts are still popping up from that moment in time. We need to have physical items that animate people's imaginations and try to step back into a historic moment. For Mercer, it's a piece of history that he'll never forget. I mean, what does it mean personally to you, that interview caught on this camera in the museum that talks about that moment? Well, it's great because what if we hadn't had the camera? It would just be a Nothing. Piece of audio, maybe. A wrinkle in time. Somewhere. That's right. For CBS Saturday Morning, Omar Villafranca, Dallas. Still get chills. I mean, thinking about people who relived, who lived it and are continuing to rel relive that moment. And it in is history. interesting to think, what if there wasn't a camera? Audio mm. is different. Audio yeah. does not capture a moment the way that mm. video does. No, and we get to see it now. Him not knowing that he was charged and yeah. finding out there. Yeah, different on world. Camera. Amazing.